now we are discussing about a fantastic experiment here carried out by sir j j thomson a british physicist he carried out this experiment he used different metals as a cathode i am revising he used different metals as a cathode here and every time by using different element as cathode he calculated a charge to mass ratio that is e by m ratio and to the surprise he got ratio as constant let me clarify suppose we are saying 1 by 2 5 by 10 100 by 200 9 by 18 so variety of values i am considering here but you are aware ultimately all value that is ending with 1 by 2 so here 5 ones are 5 twos are it's 1 by 2 0 0 0 cancel remaining 1 by 2 9 ones are 9 twos are 1 by 2 so like that ratio is constant so whatever element is there but it is emitting same type of cathode rays that means cathode rays must be made up of a material which is there present everywhere uh, on this assumption because variety of metals they are emitting same type of cathode rays and then he termed that particle as an electron smallest unit or smallest part of electricity electrical current like that but he named this part as electron this is the revolutionary concept this is the first sub atomic particle so till here we were not aware that we were having doubt atoms may be there or not there but now it is sure that sub atomic particles they are discovered that is he termed as electrons but electron is negatively charged and you are aware that atom is electrically neutral so sir j j thomson said that in order to balance this there must be equal and opposite positive charge must be present in the atom and this way he was able to explain neutrality of that atom now on basis of this the first atomic model was put forward by sir j j thomson he says that there is presence of uh, there may be presence uh, must be presence of positive charge so he says atom is essentially a sphere sphere of positive charge why sphere so why moon is spherical why sun is spherical various stars are spherical earth is spherical for a given mass minimum surface area is available in case of sphere the most distant particles are equidistant in case of sphere and therefore because mass is acting towards center and therefore atom is essentially a sphere of positive charge and he says electrons are embedded in between negatively charged electrons are embedded in between like seed seen water milon and therefore this model is known as water milon model so according to sir j j thomson atom is an uh, uh, we have to consider it is a sphere of positive charge and electrons are embedded in between like seeds in water mirror this model we is able to explain electrical neutrality of an atom but only that it is not able to explain variety of things like spectra and all these things uh, then how positive and negative charge they are together it each other not explain so like that various things are not explained by this model and therefore this model is discarded but this is the first model of an atom now let us talk of positive charge we discuss that electrons they are having negative charge electrons were discovered by sir j j thomson in cathode ray tube experiment now same way uh, there is a scientist named as goldstein 
you can consider you are aware of Einstein. Similarly, you can consider Goldstein. Goldstein consider atom, uh, sorry, as cathode rays are there, there must be anode rays. And he started investigating about anode rays. For that purpose, uh, now uh, he used something different too. Now here, uh, he placed anode something like this. But still, he was not getting presence of anode rays. Then, he made some different thing. Uh, this is cathode. He made anode as perforated. Perforated means holes were kept in anode. And now, by making holes, he says that whatever the radiations, uh, they are emitted, sorry, uh, reverse way, uh, he make indication also reverse. So, this is cathode which is perforated anode as it is. And then, he says that we have to start cathode rates, uh, that uh, EMF we have to increase. We have to make this way, so anode will emit radiation, they will pass through cathode. And surprisingly, he got glow in this region and therefore he says it is discovery of anode rays. Then he applied external magnetic field. In case of external magnetic field, it is proved that anode rays are getting deflected towards negative part. And therefore, it is concluded that presence of positive charge in the atom. That positively charged particle is named as proton. This way there was discovery of proton, another subatomic particle. In later on, it was proved that there is no such radiation called as anode rays. Actually, till that, he given them as anode rays, then channel rays, canal rays, like that, because channels are made because of this perforated cathode. And so these names are given. But later on proved that no such radiations are there, anode is not emitting any radiation. But you are aware that here we are decreasing out atmospheric pressure to very low. But yet residual gases are there. These gases are getting ionized because of cathode rays. And on ionization, the positive charge ions, they get deflected towards negatively charged cathode. And we are getting presence of anode rays. So in wrong experiment, but proof is perfect, that is presence of positive charge that was there. So this way, now, atom is having electron as well as proton. Two particles are considered here. This is the discovery of anode rays by Goldstein. Presence of protons are proved. But uh, now doubt is there that what is the atomic structure. And then, Disciple of Sir J.J. Thomson, named as Sir Ernest Rutherford from New Zealand. He was initially from New Zealand, but later on he moved towards England. No doubt, no, British colony only. But he went there and then he studied out and he carried out a, uh, that experiment that is called as gold foil experiment or alpha particle scattering experiment. On basis of that, he is the person who is able to give atomic structure. Let us discuss in next part.